What's up guys and welcome back to the Crew Motor Fest. Uh, very excited to be back on this game. So uh, it's kind of interesting. This is now the full release. It came out a couple days ago. I know I'm a little bit late, but we've played quite a bit. I had some early access. We had like the early demo and everything. So we've played like five of the playlists so far. So technically this is episode six, but it's the first of the full game that we're playing, but I'm not gonna replay the old playlist because we've already played them. We had a great time with those. If you guys want to see those videos, I'll have the playlist linked down below. But so we're basically going to pick up where we left off back in the early access parts of the game. So uh, I'm thinking we're going to go Join the Donut Media team with Donut Media. and answer Jane Pumphrey's unique questions, challenges, and car face-offs. But hey, man, it feels so good to be back. I have missed this game. I absolutely fell in love with it the real deal. during the early access. The cars are for everyone. Combined with their electric energy, makes their content stand out like, I quote, a buff horse in a pasture of ponies. <laughs> Rule the streets presented by Dona Media. Let's see what they have in store for us. Listen up, you buff horses. I've got seven questions that you need to answer by getting behind the wheel of some of the most iconic cars the world has ever sang. Here we go. Perfect. Whoa. The car world is made up of rivalries and unanswered questions. You need to settle them once and for all. More power, baby! Will it be easy? Uh, I don't think so. That's why I love it. He gives the people what they need to hear. Lightning, 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 lightning! <laughs> the energy is unmatched. And in the end, I need you to answer the biggest question of them all. Who rules the streets? That is the most badass thing I have ever heard of. <laughs> More power, baby! All right, we're gonna find out who rules the streets. Ferrari and Lamborghini have been rivals since they were babies. The age-old rivalry. Look it up. Before we set up camp downtown, you'll be racing through the countryside in the Italian supercar of your choice. Either the Ferrari F12 Marinetta or the Lamborghini Huracan. Which beast owns the mountain? The Italian Stallion or the Stromboli Bully? Stromboli Bully. I don't think I've heard that before. So we've got a 2013 F12 Berlinetta or a 2014 LP610-4. What are we going to go? This is actually a really tough decision. Like in real life, if you had to choose, I feel like Ferrari's Ferrari, cream of the crop, kind of a gentleman's car. You know what I mean? It's it's overstated because it's Ferrari, but it's it's less overstated than a Lamborghini is. And I feel like this is a little bit classier, a little bit... I don't want to say under the radar, but this like screams, I want attention. I'm going to bright green Lambo. I'm going to, I'm going to go with the Huracan. Let's go for it. Would be a tough decision in real life though. Lamborghini Machine. Let's ride. Lamborghini Machine. All right. I've seen a few donut video videos in my time. Pop up and recommend it every now and again. Might have to start watching some more. I'm loving the energy we're bringing here. So let's, let's get it. Race up the mountain. Lamborghini versus Ferrari. Let's see who can get it done. Hey, James here. I'm talking oh, to you beautiful from this cars. drone. Well, I'm not actually in the drone. That would defeat the entire purpose of a drone. That would be a <laughs> helicopter. See if we can get him on the inside up here. Let's go, baby. And the Lambo takes the lead. No surprise. It will follow you the whole time and take some awesome shots for our videos. Not in a weird way. Anyway, have fun. All right, we might have our, our work cut out for us here. No Going to try to see if we can hold him off. I don't know, man. Ferrari was the, the cream of the crop this weekend. Carlos Sainz getting the win. That was such a good... We finally had a good hey, race uh, no pressure, this year. These cars are, like, really expensive, so try not to crash and burn, okay? Honestly, thanks to Red Bull more than anything. The fact that they, they were not absolutely dominating up front is, is what made it so interesting. So hopefully other teams can catch up throughout the rest of the year and in future years. But uh, here we go, baby. Come on, 36% of the way through this race. Dang, dude. What a viewpoint. It really makes you think. <laughs> think about what? <laughs> Oh, it feels so good to be back on this game, man. I know I'm a little bit late. I'm sorry. We've been all over the place the last few weeks. A lot of stuff going to be coming to the vlog channel. It's going to be very much worth it, but 
I was a little bit sad when I knew I was going to be getting back a little bit late. I think technically about a week late, right? Mm. Missed a couple things this year. Hopefully we can get back on top of it. But we're here now. And hopefully you guys don't mind oh, yeah. too much. I should have mentioned there's going to be turns. Sorry. There's a lot of turns here. I'm trying to get... Okay. Well, this is not good. And the Lambo takes the lead. No surprises there. Nope. I'm going to send him into the wall, baby. Whatever I got to do, I'm going to race as dirty as possible. We do have the, the difficulty up pretty high, and I'm also I'm trying to get good a feel for it. Our, uh, okay. Well, he's running into us, too, so I guess it's all fair in love and war. He is all over us here. Come on, baby. Hang in there. Oh, my gosh. No. No. Cut him off. <laughs> Dude, that was so close. Man, I mean, how how can you say no to that? Look, look at the profile of that thing. The the Huracan looks better than the F12 by a long shot, in my opinion. Beautiful. All right, got it done, not by much, but I'm happy with that. Won our first race back. Feels good. Honestly, a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. So we'll take it. Back on our Mustang here. Well done. Let's move Let's on to move event on number to two. Following event. Now that you've met the donut team, you probably have a better idea of what you're getting into. But trust me, you're still in for a few surprises. Just absolute automotive chaos coming up, as far as I can tell. The giant donuts. Are we going to have to drive through those? Or what? From now on, the city's going to be Fly a through playground. Them? And your first urban challenge will be a rough and tumble American street brawl. I can't tell you much more right now. We agreed that James will be the one to give you all the details. Let me guess, this is going to be like Ford versus Mustang or Camaro versus Mustang is what I meant to say. Ford versus Mustang. Yeah! Can't speak. All right, speak. tough boys and girls, you think you've got muscles? <laughs> Look at the muscle shirt. Well, how about you take it to the streets in a Chevy Camaro ZL1 or a Shelby Mustang GT500 GT500 all day. Who's got the biggest American muscles? Spoiler, it's me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I love I love a nice Camaro, but I've always been a Ford guy. Drag race? We're here on the city streets. Camaro next to us is going to blow his engine up. He's just revving nonstop. Here we go. Let's get it. And it looks like he got quicker off the line, but we're going to see what we can do. Let's go. We're in the muscle car's natural habitat, the concrete jungle. How's it feel? We're going to see what we could do here. Hopefully be able to get it to... Okay. So we're in our own lanes here. This is interesting. We're on the outside. This is kind of a little unfair. What in the world? We're going to catch up to Homer up there. Oh my goodness. All right. This this is not going to be easy. Why are we on the outside of almost every corner thus far? There's our first well, inside corner and it comes at a bad time. I think we might just want to kind of send it into the corners. Yep. I'm going to do my best here. I feel like we lose less than, than actually trying to break and go into the corners. Otherwise, we're getting dogged here, dude. This isn't even close. Come on, baby. Keep going. Try to keep it nice and even through here. There it is. Beautiful. But then stuff like this, I think we just, yeah, we don't lose much speed. Time to flex that car's muscle. I'm flexing right now. You just can't see it. Doing my best, James. I mean, we could try to try to finesse it through there, but honestly, they aren't. Oh, gosh. Yeah, see, that's not what you want. They aren't giving us much room to work with here, man. I really feel like this is a pretty one-sided competition here. I, I I don't I don't feel like this is fair at all. We're on the outside, like 90% of this track. The Camaro's got the inside, and we're expected to keep up with them. We, we can't really corner in a lot of these corners. Because it's so it's so close. I mean, we could slow down and try to take the corners a little bit better, but he's he's so fast. I, I just don't even know if that would work out. Come on, baby. I think we're gonna pass this next corner, and that's gonna be straight to the finish. See, we could try to try to slow down, and it, it doesn't really make. Oh gosh, I'm gonna back that up. Yeah, I think I think we gotta send it through the corners. So the Camaro won, huh? I was rooting for the Mustang. 
I retried that three times. I couldn't do it. I, it, was, it was tough. We were on the outside. Couldn't get it done. Should have dropped the difficulty, but it's okay. I guess we just found out that the, the Camaro's better. No ifs, ands, or buts. Myth busted. It's, it's confirmed here. Got a high low. Got a loaned a Nissan 370Z Nismo. Nothing is more iconic than low car. Mm -hmm. Except for high car. In this time attack, you'll get to drive both 370Zs for one lap each on the same track to find out for yourself what the difference between cheap mods and expensive mods really is. This Can is a sick idea. Time switching from low car to high car? Show us then. Does more expensive mean more better? I mean, yeah. No, definitely. It doesn't. We did it in real life. <laughs> Does more expensive mean more better? Well, we're about to find out. So we've got a low 370Z here. We've got cheap parts on this bad boy. All right, hot shot. Let's see what you can do with that setup coming straight from the sale rack. Give it the beans. We will see what we can get done, baby. So we're going to try to set our best time here and then obviously going to redo it again with the better parts later. Probably going to have a bit more performance, a bit more horsepower. And we'll see if we can beat it. We just gotta try to hit the same same lap every time, make it an even experiment here. This is crazy. I've never seen oh, a yeah. YouTuber you integration pants. like this. Got all of his his artwork and merch and himself in it and stuff. This is really well done. Just trying to keep it as consistent as possible. Should be Fairly easy, considering this thing really isn't that fast. Should be able to make it a clean lap. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This, this opportunity, opportunity comes, comes once in a, a lifetime. <laughs> and now we're in the the higher spec. Interesting. You can hear that that turbo singing. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this thing is is significantly faster. This is not even going to be close. Although, to be honest, maybe I'll be in a little bit less control. Okay, we've done the whole part switching thingy, brakes, tires, suspension, exhaust. Only the best for my baby. The size of the wing on here, baby. All right. Woo! Here comes the straight line. Time to put that Nismo high car to the test. Punch it. We didn't even come close to 160 miles an hour in the other car. I feel like we need to break more with this thing. We're going way faster. I know you're focused on driving right now, but I just want to call out that I'm doing a really good job flying this drum. It's my first day. Nailing it. Man, I got a, a sad, sad drone story, man. Like I, I mentioned, I'm a little bit late to this series because we were in Norway. We were on a cruise with Royal Caribbean, one of the best cruises we've ever done. I'm so excited to show the videos and things. Some of you guys may have seen little previews on Instagram couple clips on Twitter as well but um, I lost my first drone in like 10 years been flying drones for so long never lost one never crashed one never did anything I hit a tree and it fell down a cliff like 500 feet she's gone I think it does 22 seconds so I think we're trading in some sports cars for hyper cars here we got Mo X power coming up Dude, this game is so beautiful. Look at this. Just cruising through Hawaii in a bright yellow Mustang convertible. Bright blue sky. Beautiful day ahead of us. Let's see what we got going on here. Mo power. Oof. I like this so far. All the head to heads, the. Mo power, baby! Motorfest One -on -ones. gave us two hypercars with Mo power than anyone would ever need. Choose between the Bugatti Centurice and the Ponexig Jesco and race through downtown Honolulu. Which the car Cento will set the new downtown speed record? And who will split an order of shaved ice with me? Hey, can we get some shaved ice on set? Oh yeah, good luck. I'm pretty sure they call it shave ice. No, no D on the end of it. So we've got a 2020 Koenigsegg Jesco or a 2019 Bugatti. Cento, cento dieci. We're gonna go with the Bugatti, obviously. I mean, the Jesco is pretty sick. 
fastest well, car on Forza Horizon, someone right? Someone woke up in a new Bugatti. <laughs> Dude, the personality in this game, not only with James here, but just like the, the music, the vibes, the everything, it's... It's something special. Here we go. Let's go to head to head here. Sprint race through downtown Honolulu. Partnering with Motorfest comes with some pretty sweet perks. Check out these two spaceships they lent us. Gonna try to do our best with it and hopefully not send it into too many walls. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I spoke a little bit too soon. We're fine. Jessica ran right into the back of us. That hurt. Okay. This thing is very grippy. It doesn't slide at all. I was kind of hoping it was going to slide a little bit back there. It decided not to. So we're, we're just going to try to use that to our advantage. Every car does feel pretty different in this game. Come on, baby. 25% of the way through this race, you got to step it up. Hard left. Not really. Down by the docks here. I'm trying to catch this Jesco. He's way up there. All right, we're going to be good. Will the Bugatti win? I hope so, because I've been cheering you on this whole time, and I take this sport very seriously. I don't want to let you down, James. I'm not going to lie, though. After the docks, how about a little it's not easy. Countryside? 200 miles an hour, dude. This is outrageous. Going to try to take some shortcuts where we can. 42% of the way there. Let's try to keep this up with them. Really I mean, threats of a Bugatti hitting your house, not really that that bad for property values. I wouldn't mind seeing these two racing around in my backyard every now and then. Now all of a sudden he's slowed down a ton. I don't know what's up with that, but I'm going to try to race a little bit cleaner here if we can. I do like that they give you the freedom to take shortcuts if you want. You can cut through fields. You can, you know completely get off track as long as you're hitting those checkpoints see like right here let's just turn in early didn't didn't really grip there this thing doesn't slide it just wants to go straight as an arrow but it's looking like it worked out for us she just grips dude there's no no forgiveness i'm gonna be honest i don't know if i really like it but we can all agree that you guys are destroying the previous downtown speed record but which car is gonna set the new record the suspense is killing me. <laughs> I gotta sit down. Got 20% left to go, and it looks like it's mainly a straight to the finish here. Got a bit of a right hand turn. 150 kilometers per hour in the city? I don't know. That's gotta be at least 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Something like that. That would not be a fun ticket to get, and it looks like. We have just about made it. Try to use a little bit of e-brake right there. Still doesn't get sideways. We got it done. Let's go. That was the easiest race yet. Destroyed a very rare vehicle, but it's fine. Not a big deal at all. Now is your chance to get sideways, muchacho. You'll be drifting this Mitsubishi Lancer Evo X up and down the corkscrew. <laughs> the only one you're competing in this challenge against is yourself. Just like in life. Can you get all steezy with your slide? And how long can you maintain your drift? Didn't know we were getting life lessons today. Not competing with anybody else. Don't compare yourself. It's all about you and making yourself better. What in the world did we, okay, we built this thing here. So we want to do our best drift. We're just going to want to drift, Go drift my friend. Go up drift this parking garage. Our goal is a 500, is that the 562,000 point drift? Is that, is that right? We're trying to get the biggest combo possible. This place is amazing. It's like a playground for drifters. You know, that's what they say about Los Angeles these days. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty true. All right, so we, we're going up the parking garage and then we're going to go down the parking garage. My friend said it was the fastest car that he's ever driven. What's up, Dan? I bet you never thought you'd be in a video 
video game. Shut up, my man, Dan. Okay, I, this is interesting. I guess it, I feel like it's it's gonna be fairly easy. If we get more sideways, does that give us more points? I don't think so. Just gonna try to keep this thing up as long as possible. Just gonna keep this combo going. Ten seconds left. Is the 562,000 points the the ultimate? Welcome to the Drifters world. Like the 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 world record. We got 111. I don't know how you would get up to 562. Maybe getting more sideways. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll take 111. Some of these you can't lose. Like the, the Mustang versus Camaro one, we couldn't lose it. So we'll we'll take it. We set our record. Job, We're going to move on. New challenges lie ahead. I mean, come on. Look at the vibes here, baby. This is what this game is all about. Just cruising up the coast of Hawaii. So we're going to be going to the Honolulu Airport next. And we're going to be in an F-150 Raptor. Who knows what donuts got cooked up here. That was an Eclipse right there, huh? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I haven't seen those in a racing game in forever. So we know you're a capable driver. What if you don't have any brakes? You'll be driving <laughs> this Ford Raptor SVT. <laughs> and I say Oh, it's an old school them, Raptor. But you're stuck in cruise control and you cannot use your Breaks. What? <laughs> and did I mention every lap you get faster? So how clean can you drive when slowing down isn't an option? I feel like this is some sort of an insane like beam and G challenge or something. By the way, I do want to bring that game back soon. I, I miss it. So we're st stuck in cruise control here. I, I can't use the gas at all. The, the gas is, is not working. Tell me this, Coneheads. How do you win when everyone's going the same speed? That's right. You're Cruise control is locked, and you've got to weave through a whole bunch of cones. I can't break don't either. Even think about touching them. Just got to stay to the inside here, Trev. 37 miles an hour to start. This is nice and slow. This is simple. Each Minor cone adjustments. That you touch gets you a penalty. Make a perfect lap, and you get a big old bonus. Keep her in a straight line, baby. Got to try to try to pull ahead of this guy here. Imagine each cone. Is Fewer the inputs, the better. Toughest horse you've ever seen. You would run over a horse would you nay sir nay we're gonna be fine oh we're speeding up here okay good job dude this is tough i don't know how we're gonna beat the guy in front of us so we want these the perfect laps without touching cones i don't know if your robot assistant told you but i may have forgotten to install the brakes that's gonna make things a bit more difficult okay yep we're gonna have to get a bit more aggressive with our turns here i think cut it to the inside we got four cones on that one that's not good we're gonna speed up 56 miles an hour i'll do my best this is like the ultimate driving test i don't know if i would pass and get my license so we need to swing this around to the outside and then cut back in got it okay tell me we got a perfect lap here come on on the inside let's go tell me we got a perfect lap perfect lap there it is Oh god, this is sketchy. All right, that the one corner is going to be so hard here. I'm sorry, is this truck too big for you? You want a widow baby car to make it easier? Well, too bad. Oh, you can drift though. Beautiful. So yeah, if we throw her around, get it? Get it like in the movie. Come on, baby. If we turn right and then go left, we can we can throw the the backside around and maybe make it. Ooh, we're not gonna make it here. Is it I'm sorry. You oh God. The rules mixed up. The more cones you hit, the less points you get. Well, that's that's just really not that's just really not good for me. That's not good for me at all here. Um, okay, that was uh, <laughs> 22 cones. Trevor, remember you gotta flick it to get the the back end out. Nope. I mean, we technically beat him to the finish line. I hope it was as fun for you to drive as it was 
else for me to watch. It honestly was pretty good up until that last lap. The last lap is where we kind of lost a little bit, but we'll we'll take it. We got negative 20 seconds for our perfect laps, plus 22 seconds for 22 cones. We ended with a 301. Not bad. We'll take it. I love this, man. It, this game is so silly is a good word for it. This is fun. Carefree driving. Chilling doesn't take itself too seriously. Well done. Let's move on to the following event. All right. German X Qualitats. is coming to an end. I can't wait to see how the donut crews use all the incredible sequences they shot with you. They're almost ready to wrap up. But before, they have one more challenge for you. One last face off. A little pure, unadulterated street racing featuring two cars that embody the world renowned German savoir faire. Is this going to be, uh. It looks like I've said too much again. Just pretend you didn't hear anything, okay? BMW versus Mercedes. German quality here. German engineering. Gotta love it. We'll see what we can get into here for our last event of the Donut Media playlist. This has been good. I wasn't expecting this. I, I'm... Man, this game really impressed me early on. Even more so now. This is cool. I think I saw Supercar Blondies in this too. Um, they need to get Forrest. You can't Forrest Auto Reviews, I love his stuff. about German engineering. I've tried. In this final face-off, two powerhouses battle it out in the streets of Honolulu. Audi R8 Spider head to head with BMW M4. Who can Oof. ask for anything more? Let's find out once and for all who rules the streets. I mean, I like an M4, but I got to be honest, this is a very easy decision to make. This is the easiest by far. The, the M4 is nice. I won't lie, but come on. Let's Audi let's keep R8 this real. Spider. Okay, sure. Prove me wrong. Come on now. And it looks like we are going to be in our own individual lane, so we can actually use the full road. We can make those corners. We don't have to slow down a ton. Woo. Here we go, baby. I'm gonna hop inside the driver's seat here. We haven't been in the driver's seat much. I'm gonna use our nitrous off the bat. I can't even imagine how this sick it would be to have one of these things. Event, so make it count. Don't worry. We'll still be friends after. I'm not the biggest fan of soft top convertibles when the tops are down, like from an exterior point of view. That's a scientific fact. Woo! Okay, this we got some competition here. That's a scientific fact. Well, hopefully we don't let him pass us again so he doesn't have to keep repeating himself. But yeah, from the outside, I don't love the look. Honestly, the R8 doesn't look bad. Or I guess it's really mainly when it's up. This is a lot of fun. Thank you for letting me film you in a totally not weird way. You have nice hands. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. But yeah, with the top's up, it's like... I, I don't, typically don't like the look, but how sick would it be to have one of these and have the top down listening to that engine? As you're driving along, I, I just, I, I don't think you could get a better driving experience. So, got two laps here. And not a whole lot of, shoot, dude, he's, Homer's quick. We did just bump the difficulty just before the last challenge. So, we, we beat that difficulty once. I think we're on five out of five now. So, we'll see if we can do it again it, it looks like homer might be might be beating us here come on baby dang dog hit up jules vergs we got freaking flying cars over here <laughs> gonna try to let off the gas there and keep it clean through the corner did we get that checkpoint did that count i think that counted all right german speedsters definitely pack a punch we're on lap two out of two Ask Afro, man. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch this, dude. Next time I'm calling you a cab. Woo! We actually might. Let's go, baby. How you doing, Homer? All right. Now we got our work cut out for us because we don't have any nitrous and he's going to be on our back. I can hear him using the nitrous behind us. Oh, Come on, baby. We're good. Ooh. 
I feel like the difficulty is interesting. I feel like as the races go on, we tend to pull a ahead of people, which is weird. It's like the opposite of, of catch up in GTA races. We ever gonna get GTA 6, man? My goodness. Imagine GTA 6 races and how insane those are gonna be. The map creator and stuff they're gonna have in that, it's gonna be outrageous. Gonna be taking a left here. Gonna try to keep our speed up as much as possible. Looking like we might be able to be able to walk home with this one. Hop back inside the driver's seat here. To get us the final answer. There can only be one. Again, I felt like this one was kind of a little bit one-sided. I don't know. The M4 is that the the competition spec back there, I'm not sure. It, they, they are sick. R8 would be hard to beat, though. Beautiful. <clears throat> that thing is nasty. So that's a wrap on the Donut Media playlist here. And as such, it's time for us to collect our reward. Brand new horse in the stable. The vet, baby. Look at the wrap on this thing. The donut wrap. These cutscenes are so sick, dude. This is insane. The polish on this game is just so, so good. Oh, we got 75,000 credits as well. That's exciting. Look at this thing, dude. Absolutely insane. Honestly, kind of an ugly wrap, but excited to have it in our repertoire, and I'm sure we're going to be using it in the future. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. We're going to take on our next playlist. I mean, there's so many. So we already did Made in Japan. We already did the Scenic Tour. And then we also did 9-11 Legacy and Vintage Garage. But it looks like we've got ooh, Liberty Walk. We've got Off-Roading Attic, Drift Experience, Ocean and Sky, Lamborghini, Bike Love. Like there are, oh, we did, we did Electric Odyssey too. So basically our goal is going to be to knock off all these playlists in this series. And uh, we'll just kind of see where it takes us from there. I'm thinking Liberty Walk in the next one. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.